Good evening to you tonight and only on Fox. A mother is enraged after two strangers found her seven year old son wandering down a busy road when he was supposed to be in school. Fox 26's Abigail Dyes spoke to the mom and got a response from IL Texas West Park where the little boy was supposed to be. Abigail. Well, Rashi, this mom usually picks up her son at a daycare after school, but instead she got a call from two strange men saying they found him wandering down a busy road. I mean, I can only imagine how scary that could be for a parent. And the school says this child just wandered off on his own, but the mom says she's happy that he's alive. Where's your parents? Cell phone video taken by two men after they found little seven year old Jordan all alone. He almost walked in the middle of the street. Yeah, hey, the streets are bad. Oh you gotta watch out the cars. He was wandering down Belair Boulevard in West Houston. Uh, I ain't seen that like this. It was around 3 p.m. Friday. You know your phone number? Okay. You want to call? Let's call your family, okay? I received a call from a number that I didn't recognize. I didn't initially answer, but they called me back. Um, I answered and they asked me, did I know someone named Jordan? She sure did. Jordan is Cheryl Thompson's son. And my heart's in my stomach. I'm like, it's only three o'clock. He should be within the school's care. How did he walk away from the school? The men got Jordan to his daycare, which is in the same area. They found him about a half mile from Isle, Texas West Park, where Jordan was supposed to be. I'm just thankful for the fact that he made it from the distance of where the school is to where he ended up, which is like half a mile without being hit by a car. IL Texas says Jordan somehow got out of the school, then jumped this fence, which is about six foot. And little Jordan, he's only three eight. He did all of this undetected. With his backpack on his back the whole time, he could have gotten hung. His little body could have just been dangling from the top of the gate. The school says they immediately called the code red when they realized Jordan was gone. But Thompson's upset that she didn't get a call. Yeah. It's very concerning, very concerning. She says she wants to see the school take action. So something like this doesn't happen again. I just don't want this situation to get swept under the rug. I really don't. Now, Isle, Texas declined an interview, but said in a statement, we are conducting a thorough investigation to ensure that an incident like this does not happen again. The safety of our students is and always will be our number one priority. Now, there also is security footage of uh, Jordan leaving the school, and the mom thinks that that will help clear this whole story up. We have requested that footage, and we'll keep you updated on Fox26Houston.com. Reporting live, Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News.